create customers in customer.io from gravity form submission automatically so customer.io is a customer engagement platform and in this video i'll show you how you can connect your favorite form builder software with the customer.io so what will happen every time the form submission is received the customers will be created automatically in this software in this way you do not have to manually export your form submission data and import it here again and again because the form submissions will be synced with the customer.io automatically want to learn how you can also do that then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is the dashboard of gravity forms and this is the dashboard of customer.io and in order to sync my form submission data with customer.io i'll have to build a connection in these two application which i am going to do with the help of pabli connect which is an integration and automation software and i am an existing user of pabli connect so i am already logged in you can also create your free account in pabli connect in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect click on this view button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation i am going to provide the name something like create customers in customer.io from gravity form submission basically i have directly pasted this name now simply click on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are actually called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application so this is how you need to select the application in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so here according to our use case whenever any new form submission is received in this gravity form builder software then automatically create customers in customer.io application okay so this is how you need to select the applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation and let me tell you if you want to sync the form submission data of other form builder software with customer.io you can also do the same you just need to select your favorite form builder application like elementor form or google forms or it could be anything okay but according to our use case i'll go with the same that is gravity forms okay so i have selected the same and now the idea here is i'm going to connect both the applications one by one with the pabli connect okay so let us connect gravity forms with pabli connect okay so firstly you will have to select the trigger event that is new response okay so i want that whenever a new response is received in my gravity forms this automation should trigger or we can say that the responses should be captured via pabli connect dashboard okay so how we can build this connection did you notice this webhook url simply copy this webhook url and paste it into your form which you have created in your gravity form okay you can also read the instructions okay so i have copied the url and here you can notice several forms are already created but i would like to capture the form responses of this inquiry form okay so that is why i am going to edit this specific form only and now i will paste this webhook url in my form okay so firstly i'll have to search for the webhook option okay so this is the settings option and in the last you will find webhooks option and here exactly i am going to paste the webhook url okay so simply click on connect i'm sorry simply click on add new button and in this request url field paste the webhook url and then you will also have to provide a random name okay so i'm providing the name something like connection with pabli connect okay one two three okay so i have provided all the details you do not have to do anything uh, further now simply click on the save settings button and this is how the settings will be updated and the connection in your gravity form that is in this inquiry form and pabli connect is successful okay for now i am closing this landing page okay and here you can notice that it is waiting for the webhook response okay also read this note login to the application where you have added the webhook url 
URL and do a test submission and record so that the data can be recorded here in the web response. Okay, so basically it is asking to do a test to submission or record. And here the test to submission means creation of a new response in our gravity forms. Okay, so how about I open this form in a new tab? Okay, and now I am going to make a dummy submission in front of you, and you will see how the same data will be captured via public connect. Okay. So again, I am telling you that I am submitting this form with some dummy details only. Okay. So the email address I am adding is dummy test at gmail dot com or tabli tutes dot com. Okay. I am adding this random email address, asking for the phone number. Okay. So I have added a ten digit a uh, phone number, a dummy phone number. Now I will submit this form, and you will notice that how the form submission data will be received as a response. So here you can notice the response is also received. Now I will show you the details one by one. Okay. So here we have the same dummy phone number, the same dummy email address, the last name and the first name, and we also have other details like we have the ID of our form submission. We also have the form ID and lot of details. Okay. So the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between Pabli Connect and Gravity Form is working absolutely fine. Okay. Okay, so now onwards, what will happen? Every time someone will submit this form, the detail of that person will be captured via Public Connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. Okay, so the first step of our automation is done, and now moving further, I am going to send the same form submission data to Customer dot io. So the application is already selected, and now since I want to create a customer, so I'll go with the same action event. Okay, and just like we have connected Gravity Form and Public Connect, now I am going to connect this Customer dot io with the Public Connect. Okay, so simply select this Add New Connection, and for the connection, it is asking for the site ID and the API key. Okay, so from where you can actually get these details? Well, the instruction for the same is already provided. Simply visit Accounts, then go to Account Setting, and this is how you will get the API credentials. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Customer dot io and here at the top right corner you will find an option of settings. Then click on account settings and then you will have to click on API credentials. Okay, let me show you where is the API credentials. All right, so this is the API credentials and from here exactly I can directly copy this site ID. Okay, so this is the button of copied which I have. Actually copied, and now I will also copy this API key. Okay, so this is the button provided, and again I have copied this API key also. Let me paste the same. Click on save, and this is how the customer dot io account will be also connected with the Pabli Connect. Okay, and now in order to create a customer in customer dot io, it will ask you several details like a unique ID, the email address, and further details. Okay, so how and from where I can Provide a unique ID. Okay, so I will first check the form responses and whether I have received any unique ID which I can actually provide in that ID column in that ID field. Okay, so here you can notice I have the email address, the phone number, the first name, the last name, the status, all right. And yes, we do have the ID also. So how about I add this ID? But uh, I think it will be better that if I add the combination of two things. Okay, so. So this is the form submission ID, basically the entry ID, and this is the form ID. So I am thinking to add the combination of these two IDs so that it will be unique always. Okay. So moving down, and instead of copying these two IDs, I am going to map this IDs. Okay. And why I am mapping? I'll tell you. First of all, I'll show you how mapping can be performed. So simply click on this field, and you will find the same step data, the same form submission data here in the Drop down now. Firstly, I will search for the ID which was the entry ID, and now I will also add the combination of my form ID. Okay, so this is how I have provided a two-digit number. Now, what is the importance of mapping? So, whatever the details you will map here in this way, these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or in next time. Okay, but if you will provide any detail map. 
manually here that detail will remain same for every form submission okay so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place okay and in the same way i am also mapping the email address okay so id has been provided email address is also provided okay other than these two fields if you also want to update more data in your customer dot io software what you can do is simply click on this plus icon and this is how two fields will open up that is label and value this is the uh, combination of key and value okay so here let's say you want to also add the first name of the person so in this label you just need to define the label name that is first name and here we will map the name of the person in the same way okay so let me search for the name of the person all right i have mapped it okay and in the same way you can add the combination of as many as key value thing okay so clicking on this plus icon because i want to also update the last name as well as the phone number okay i just want to add three more details along with my email address okay so i have added the same let me give the name to my label that is last name and here i will add the phone number okay again telling you you can add as many as key and value pair as you want in the value i will search for the second name which was user and again whatever the details i am mapping here will be replaced automatically okay so i think i have provided all the important data now i will directly take you to the customer section of my customer.io okay so here you can find this people section and currently there is a single person only coming back to public connected dashboard and clicking on this button and now i am really expecting that the same form submission data will be created as a customer in my customer.io application okay so here you can notice a response is received and i have refreshed the dashboard of customer io okay fingers crossed and waiting for the customers to be created here and here you can notice the same person has been created as a customer as a people in our customer.io application okay so the same email address that is dummy at test at the rate gmail.com i'm sorry at the rate pablitudes.com here we have the form id as well as the entry id now if i'll click on this email id you will notice that the first name the last name and the phone number all the three data has been created and updated automatically okay so in this way you can sync your form submission data with the customer.io application automatically with the help of pabli connect basically you just need to create this workflow inside pabli connect for once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and it is not compulsory that you sync the form submission data of gravity forms with customer.io you can sync the form submission data of google forms pay for form jot form or any other form builder with the customer.io and not just into the customer.io you can also sync your gravity form submission data with the different application okay and just in case if you want to access this two step automation inside your public connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the public connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own public connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video